Hello, it is day 106 of 365. And I have been reflecting a lot on my issues with overgiving, which I've spoken about many times before, and how when I do that, I become an enabler. I become an enabler for someone to not try hard enough to do it for themselves. Like when I'm overly understanding or over giving whatever it is or lending money, um, all of those things, I become an enabler. And when I am an enabler, I am denying someone to find the creativity or the drive or the ambition or whatever it is inside of them to go out there and do it for themselves. And it does not serve that person and it obviously, it does not serve me either because I've had a lot of this stuff come back to bite me in the butt. And it still is. Actually, this morning, something else showed up that someone hadn't paid something for, I don't know, 10 years and it's on my credit report, so now I have to go and deal with that. So overgiving, sometimes for me, what I found is that it's not respected and it's not honored and it's quite disappointing. And so I find that when I overgive, and I've witnessed this with clients also when they've had the situation in their lives, when I become an enabler or someone else becomes an enabler, I end up denying someone sometimes their rock bottom, which is what is necessary for them to rise up and really become that person they were meant to be and really live out their potential. And you know, when, when I'm overgiving, obviously there's something in it for me. It makes me feel good about myself or it makes me feel good to them able to help someone else or I was that person to do it because there's always something in it for us. There is always something in it for me, whether I realize it or not. And when I am an, a, an enabler, I perhaps I am helping the person that one time, but I am denying them that transformation for them to actually go out there and really do it for themselves because I can help someone once, but if they learn how to do it on their own, they have that for a lifetime. And I am a recovering enabler, so <laughs> I've really been working on this recently and I've also been enabled a lot in my life. I've been helped a lot. And I see also how it hasn't served me because it took me a whole lot longer for me to really do and go for the things that I have wanted because I've been carried along in certain ways. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. Are you an enabler or are you and being enabled by someone else. So it's really important to look at that and see what you're gaining from it and what it's costing you. So on that note, I'll see you later. Bye.